In this session, we equip our game player with a simple weapon, and later, a weapon far more deadly. Alright, welcome back. Let's give this player a weapon. Alright, so how do we do that? Let's click on the player. Click on the camera. Let's add a weapons bucket to this camera. You can place some weapons in that bucket so that the weapons move along with the camera. So when the camera moves around, the weapon moves around, that sort of thing. Right click, give me a new entity, name the entity weapons. This is going to be our weapons bucket. And I've created a couple of weapons for you. Uh, where are they? In the prefabs folder. Weapons. We got two of them, a crystal one and a yellow one. Let's start with the yellow one. Right? Um, I can drop the yellow one, it's weapons, and you'll notice oh, it's right here, but it needs to be enabled. So I'll click on the enable. Now you got the little weapon right there. The wand. Wands are much better than shooting devices because they can cast spells. I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but let's see what this looks like from the perspective of the player. Let's click on the camera here and see the wand right here. I'm going to move it a little bit later. For now, let's just get this thing working and firing a little bit. So how do we make this thing fire? So the first thing that we need to do is we need something to fire. So our trick here is we're going to add munitions. You know what I'm saying? Munitions to the uh, player. So we have a special script for you called Has Munitions. And if you look at Has Munitions, it is configured to have crystals, well, five, crystals, five yellow crystals and five red crystals. Those will, those will make more sense a little bit later, but basically it's like five bullets of uh, yellow, five bullets of like red. And this, and this yellow one will fire the, the, the yellow crystals. All right. So let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh, something I forgot, forgot to mention before. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm going to record everything, even my mistakes. So, let me just show you. In the last scene, I forgot to mention to you that you need to associate the camera with the player. So that the camera moves with the player, and then the weapon moves with the camera, so on and so forth. So, right here, with the, on our FPS controller, it's, it's got an empty camera slot. So, let's take the camera, let's pop it inside of there, and then that should be good. Now, it'll know all to, like, move together properly. Uh, something like that. Um, next. Now that we have munitions, what's the next thing we got to do? Let's take a look at our wand. See if there's anything missing here. Oh, we got some missing slots here. It's looking for a camera and a player. So let's look at the camera, the camera in there for the player, the player inside of here, and then weapon zoom. It's looking for a camera. Let's put the camera in here. Player. I'll explain all this like a little bit later. You need to really get into the scripts, but for now, let's just get this thing working. Hey! All right, so that's looking pretty good. So now, in theory, I think if we play this, it should fire. Let's try it. So let's click on the play. And sure, sure. Slowly but surely. And if we move around, hit the right uh, left mouse point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking a little chintzy right now, but you know it's it's uh, it's a good start. So now at least we have you know we have like a weapon, it's our wand, and then you know we'll point to something, fire, and then attack. All right, congratulations, you now have a weapon on your player. Hope you had a hope you enjoyed the uh, episode, and we'll see you in the next uh, next episode. I hope you found these videos useful. Want to keep watching videos like these? Hit that subscribe and like button below so I can make you more for free! Oh yeah!